Security is extra tight here at Queen Elizabeth's Hospital in England, where Malala Yousafzai is recovering from a Taliban attack. Authorities say they turned away two well-wishers overnight, who were reportedly posing as members of her family. We don't believe that there's any, um, any sort of threat to her, her personal security. We think it's probably people being uh, over-curious. Doctors say they're impressed with the strength and resilience of the 14-year-old activist. She is not out of the woods yet. There's plenty that could go wrong. Uh, but at this stage, we're optimistic that things are going in the right direction. Doctors say Malala has teams of medical experts around her. They're starting to plan for reconstructive surgery to repair the damage to her brain. A Taliban gunman shot Malala last week as she rode home on her school bus. She made headlines for her outspoken support of girls' education. But Taliban fighters claim they did not attack her for that. They say she deserved to die because she spoke out against them and supported Barack Obama, who they called the biggest enemy of Islam. Insurgents say if Malala recovers, they will try to kill her again. Back home in Pakistan, thousands are praying she will get better. Those who know her say she's incredibly strong. I fell in love with her the, the day I first met her. I mean, it's, uh, she is articulate and um, verbose and courageous. And doctors hope that courage will give her the strength she needs to pull through. Monica Villamizar, CBS News, Birmingham, England.